Uh, decisive moments. There were two, I think, for Obama. First is the campaign strategy that they used of defining who Romney was very early in the race had a big impact. Uh, they spent a lot of money uh, in the uh, mid to late summer talking about uh, Romney uh, what he had done at Bain Capital, the negatives on the guy. They spent a lot of money early, and it was a real gamble to do that early. And I think that was a defining moment for them when they were able to um, to create the, the campaign dynamic early. Uh, the second thing I think was decisive for them was the... Uh, was the second debate when Obama came back and reassured everybody that he was the the Obama they thought they knew. Um, the first debate when uh, Romney did well raised some some doubts among people. Not huge change, but some doubts. And the second debate, I think, reassured people. And then the third uh, the third moment was. Uh, his reaction in the storm, the, the big Hurricane Sandy, he looked like a leader. He looked like a man in charge. All the talk of Romney of, you know, shrinking government, of government's bad, we don't need to rely on government. All those arguments were really sort of blown away, if you will, no pun intended, uh, by the storm, because there was the role of government. There was Obama delivering. There he was taking care of people. There he was doing what a president is supposed to do in a time of crisis. And one of Romney's biggest uh, supporters, uh, Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, essentially wrapped his arms around Obama and said, he's doing a great job here for my state. So I think those were the three sort of decisive moments for, uh, the, for the Obama campaign. Uh, I think that the two decisive moments, if you will, or maybe three, uh, for Romney was first in the primaries. He had to run against a bunch of very extreme right-wing Republicans, and he moved to the right um, politically. Uh, just the way he delivered messages, the way he talked, was very, very, very conservative and almost out of the mainstream of what Americans really believed. Um, and I think that hurt him. Uh, second was the release of this uh, video uh, of him essentially saying that 47% of the American people were were... He, he didn't use this word, but they were parasites. They were they were takers from the government. They were they were in somehow bad people. Um, and I think it 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 reflected sort of who he was and what he believed in terms of the 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 sense of entitlement, the sense of we're better than they are. Uh, there was a real arrogance about that. And so I think that was the the second big decisive moment for uh, for Romney. And then to, to a lesser extent, the hurricane was the other way around for Romney, where Obama was out there delivering real results for real people. Romney and uh, Paul Ryan were uh, reduced to scrambling around, trying to create sort of fake photo ops where they were doing something it really didn't come across as very sincere. Nobody much believed it. It was kind of phony. So I think those were the were the decisive moments. And and one could uh, one could also say, and I think uh, fairly so, that selection of Paul Ryan was a was a big moment uh, because he chose Ryan. It forced a debate on how conservative was Romney. This extreme agenda that the um, that the Ron budget called for really, I think, had a negative impact on the de on the debate overall.